So you've been scrolling through the trending page on YouTube and you find yourself seeing a lot of videos on Minecraft and you think, hmm, I'm going to start playing that. Well, I'm here to help you. Here is five things to do in Minecraft. So we are starting off with number one being building a house, the essentials, the architect's dream. There's something you can really put your mind to. Now, this is working two ways. You can either have a dirt house where you just build dirt and then make it look all fancy and in the hill and yeah all that good stuff or you go out you go baller and you make yourself a nice a beautiful house now you might be thinking why why do i need to make a house you know because i'm here i'm chilling i don't need a house well you're gonna need somewhere to put your stuff to now you're gonna get loads of cobblestone you're gonna get loads of iron you're gonna get loads even maybe diamonds who knows and you're going to need somewhere to store that stuff. So building a base is priority number one and something you should really think about doing when you first start off your world. Now, some people like to have houses above ground. Some people like to have little bases underground. An underground base is very good if you're trying to keep away from mobs. And uh, a house in general above land is something you just need to watch out for with creepers uh, skeletons and all that good stuff as they might be hiding outside your door now just bear that in mind when building a house out there and make sure you put your torches down but let's move on to number two so one of the more essential things next door to help building a house would be starting your farm now with a farm it's a priority you have one of these in the later stages as it will be a source of food for yourself and your other players if you're playing on a server now you might be wondering, well, how do I start a farm? Well, you first off, you're going to need two cows at least, or two pigs, or two chickens, or two sheep. And what you're going to need to do is either make yourself some wheat for the cows and the sheep, or chicken. Oh, I was about to say chicken. Um, seeds for your chickens, and and get yourself some carrots for your pigs. Now, once you have clicked on both of these things you'll then see them starting to breed and then they'll breed another pig another cow and another sheep or another chicken now with this what you can do is start to build them up build pig after pig cow after cow and then you'll start to see you're gaining a lot more animals now what you can do is kill them i know that sounds a bit humane is this meant to be like a really happy little three plus game but you're gonna need to kill them this is the way of life and that's how you get your food if you didn't know that already and yeah kill them Get your food, get it in the furnace, bang in some coal and your food and cook away and you'll never get hungry again. That is a pro tip from me. Moving on to number three and probably one of the most important things if you're thinking about ending your game very soon. This is going to be getting some diamonds. Now, you might be thinking, well, why, why do I need diamonds? I could just have an iron armor if I really want to, iron axe, iron sword and things like that. Well, you could, but if you're thinking about completing the game, which we'll move on to later on in the video, you're going to need some pretty damn good armor. Now, with diamonds, you might be thinking, well, why would I want diamonds? A, they're the most strong material you can get in the game. And B, you, it makes you look like you're wearing Gucci, you know. The stuff is beautiful, especially once you've enchanted it. Now, speaking of enchantments, this is where we move on to number four. Number four being building an enchantment room. Now you might be thinking, why do I need an enchantment room? You know, I'm not going to waste my time collecting up books to be able to make them bookshelves and then be able to make a enchantment table. Well, you're going to need one, seeing as you, it might be a bit boring, but you're going to need it for building up your armor to make it more powerful, building up your sword and all your other equipment to make that a lot more powerful and it just makes your life a lot easier especially if you get things like enchanting, uh, unbreaking sorry 4 and things like that. It's really going to help you in the long run and it's something that you should really bear in mind when once you're starting to get towards the, the latter stages of your Minecraft world. Now speaking of enchantments and diamonds and everything that's led up to number 5 being fighting the ender dragon now if you've watched my live streams or anything in the past make sure you go and click on one of the videos which are on my channel you'll see i i didn't get on too well with the ender dragon but it's it's a way of ending your game it's the way you get to the end of the game and then you can say well i've pretty much completed it but obviously you can go back into the world afterwards now the ender dragon is a bit of a bugger when he wants to be but he can also be a very useful tool for you if you do defeat the ender dragon you'll 
gain yourself about 70 XP, it's ridiculous how much you earn. And you can put a lot of that to back to your enchantments. And you also get yourself a little bit of credits and the ender, ender egg, which is quite cool. It's a little something you can put in your house or in your world just to say, you know, I did that. It was a bit of like an achievement type thing, which I think is really cool of Minecraft. And it just, it gives you sort of a start, middle and end to a Minecraft world. And then once you've done that, you might want to keep your world and just keep playing and just building everything nice up. But it gives a player like a, all right, I've done this. I can now move on to something else. Maybe that, that's mods going into a server or something like that, which I think is quite cool. So yeah, that has been my top five things for you guys to do if you're just starting out in Minecraft. Now, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you smash a like down below and leave a comment whether this video has helped you out at all with all the things you didn't know or you've just started your Minecraft world. Because I'd be quite interested to know about that, guys. Uh, if you're new and you've not hit that subscribe button, why not smash it? Go on, smash it in the face. And make sure you tell it who's boss. Now, I've been BTV, guys. I hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.